All right, I want everyone to come in and sit at the carpet, but first you have to grab a whiteboard and a pen. We're gonna start today with our schedule because today is a little different than other days. We're gonna start something new. I've noticed that we have been having some trouble finding some things in the library, so I think we should talk about how things are organized in the library. It's a little different than other libraries. We're gonna be talking about the Dewey Decimal System, but first we have to know what we're doing today. So first we're going to do our vocabulary. We have to know the words that go along with our new subject. And then second we're going to be reading a book about it. And then the last thing we'll do before we go to our centers is we're going to watch a short video about it. I think you'll really like this video. It's kind of silly. So, and then we'll go to our centers and we'll start doing different things there. But first let's learn our vocabulary. There are a few words that we might not know yet that we have to to understand it. The first one is Dewey Decimal. And let's write that out on our, our board. You can see on, we're gonna put it up on our whiteboard, our smart board, but first let's try and write it out. And we start with Dewey and then Decimal, good. I'm glad that some of you are trying really hard to sound that out, awesome. Maybe you could turn to your neighbor if you don't know how to spell it and ask them, find, find the letters in that word. So a Dewey Decimal System is how subjects are categorized in the library. It's made up of three numbers at the start, and then a dot, and then numbers after. And sometimes there are letters after those numbers too, but we don't want to get too confused. So we're just going to learn about the subjects. The next, those numbers are actually called the call numbers, and those are our second vocabulary words, call numbers. And that, we can write out on our board, call number, ask a friend if you don't understand, and then when you're done, you can put your thumb up and tell me, and let's see if we can get it. Good, good. And the call number is the address of the book. So that is, you have to think of the book, it has a home, and the call numbers it's, is its address, and it makes it easier to find the book if you know the call numbers. And we find out the call numbers through our third vocabulary word, which is catalog. And the catalog is something we have online, on our computers, and we use that to find the call numbers in the book. So let's see, say it all together, catalog. Good, that's a hard word sometimes. It has some weird letters in there. We can try and spell that later. Our la or one of our last vocabulary words is subject and each book in the library is put in its address or its call number by its subject. So there are 10 main subjects in the library and they're all the books in the library fit into those 10 categories. So subject. And then our last vocabulary word that's very important is called nonfiction. I know we all kind of remember Nonfiction. Can anyone tell me what nonfiction is? Raise your hand. Good. Now let's see. Write on your board if you think it's real or not real. What is nonfiction? <clears throat> nonfiction is something that's real. I see a lot of that on your board. Good job. So after we, now that we've completed our uh, vocabulary words, we're going to move into our book. And our book today is called Do You Know Dewey? And as you go through the book, I want you to be thinking about some of the vocabulary words that we've talked about. And then at the end, I'm going to ask you if you remember any of the call numbers and what they mean. So have your whiteboard out and you could be thinking about it as we read. All right, thank you. Do you know Dewey? Exploring the Dewey Decimal System. Melville Dewey loved to read when he was very small, but libraries were so mixed up they brought no joy at all. And that's why little Melville will grow up to make a system to organize those stacks of books and classify and list them. The Dewey Decimal System keeps nonfiction in its place. Books are grouped by subjects such as art or outer space. This system mainly covers books on topics that are real, people, things, and places jammed with fictional appeal. For instance, if you're searching for a book all by yourself about the internet, you wouldn't look on every shelf. Instead, you check the numbers at the ends of all the rows. You want the section labeled with the zeros or the O's.
The section marked 100 is the one you'd look through to find a book that tells us why we act the way we do. It offers books explaining dreams and feelings. Others tell of optical illusions or of places ghosts may dwell. Walk through the 200s and you'll find religion here. Holy books for Christians, Muslims, Jews, and more appear. There are books to help you study, understand, and probe beliefs and faiths of people all around the globe. Social sciences are next, and this 300 section got topics such as government and money and elections, scouting and the military, books on education, costumes, costumes, etiquette, and also transportation. In shelves marked with 400s, you'll see books of every kind on language from the written and the spoken to the signed. Look up hieroglyphics and discover what they mean. Perhaps they'll lead you to the tome of some Egyptian queen. All of the 500s cover science and mathematics, perfect for both chemistry and algebra fanatics. Along with those enthusiasts of weather birds and bees, dinosaurs, volcanoes, stars and oceans, plants and trees. But what about inventions? Pets are bodies and disease. Or cooking? The 600s is the home for all of these. Want to know about the parts in each kitchen appliance? For all of this and spaceships too, look here in Applied Science. In Arts, that's 700s, you'll find books on figure skating, art and sports and fishing terms like rod and reel and baiting, Motown, Mozart, Ellington, the Beatles, and the Blues, all along with most activities that you may ever choose. Peek in the 800s and you'll have all kinds of sightings of works in many languages and many types of writings. Hear speeches, plays, and poetry with some for all ages, along with puns and silly jokes and riddles fill the pages. What's in the 900s? It isn't any mystery. That's where you would look for both geography and history, biography and travel, flags and maps of all nations, tales of knights and castles, and exciting exploration. The Dewey Decimal System uses each distinct division to help you find nonfiction books with speed and with precision. So let the numbers lead you as they guide you through each zone, and you'll be set to travel on some journeys of your own. How can you use the Dewey Decimal System to find a book at the library? You have two choices. Let's say you want to find a book about dogs. As you read earlier, Books about pets, including dogs, are in the 600 section, so we go, you would go to that section and start looking at books. Or you could use the library's online catalog. You might look up the subject dogs. The catalog will give you a list of books about dogs. It will also give you the call number for each book. Good, did you like that book? Now I'm going to go around and ask some of you what you writ on your whiteboard to ask to see if what you remember. Now, who remembers what the 100s are for? Does anyone remember? Oh, good. I love seeing that on your boards. Now, next we're going to watch a little video, and it's going to be about the same subject, but I want you to keep remembering, and I'm going to ask you about one other section of the library to see if you remember, okay? Good. If you need info, you know where to go. Go to your library. I do we get some old system? Classifies information, son. I do we get some old system? Organizes information, son. I do we get some old system? It's so very easy to use. I do we get some old system? Here is what you got to do. Say zero zero zero. Zero zero zero. Generalities. Like bibliography. Say one hundred. Psychology, say 200, 200, religion, like the Bible, say 300, 300, social science, sir. like political science, say 400, 400, language, like Spanish, say 500, 500, natural science, sir. like astronomy, say 600, 600, technology, like engineering, say 700, Say 800 800 Literature Like French literature Say 900 900 Geography History oh. Ah, my name is Mel Do it Nice to meet ya How to do it If you need info You know where to go Go to your library Ah, my name is Mel Do it Nice to meet ya How 
can. No problem. I type it into my computer and kablam! 597.3 Sharks. But now, Phil, can you tell me where to find info on Italian recipes? Yeah, I can. No problem. I type it into my computer and kablam! 641.8 Italian Recipes. Now that we've watched our video and we've read our book, we're going to go to our tables after we put our whiteboards down and start our afternoon centers. We're going to have three centers today. At the first center, our red team is going to be going on a treasure hunt throughout the library. And at this treasure hunt, we have to walk around and find the flags at each section. On the back of the flags, there's a letter. So you have to write down the letter on your treasure map. And at the end, it's going to spell out something, and you have to tell me what that is. Our second center is going to be at the computer. And we have some fun Dewey games to play and some fun Dewey decimal websites to look at. So our co-teacher is going to help you go through those websites. And if you have any questions, we'll be right around. Our third center is going to be sorting and separating. It's also going to be drawing. So we have two activities at that center. The first activity, you're going to be taking the pictures that are at the table and putting them where you think they go in the Dewey Decimal. So we have a graph of the Dewey Decimal and you're going to go up and put the pictures where you think they go. And then the second part, you're going to draw a picture of anything that you want and then ask your partners, where do you think that goes in Dewey? And then your, our co-teacher is going to try and help you figure it out where those things go. And if we can't all do that today, we're going to continue into next week and we'll be able to do it then too. So don't rush. It's not a race. We'll get it all done. All right. Thank